What's going on guys, Josh here from Momentum Productions and today we are going to find the perfect microphone for your Zoom H6 recorder and overall audio for your filmmaking productions. Introducing, boom, the DD S Mic 2 Super Cardioid Shotgun Microphone. So what's so special about this microphone? Well, for one thing, it's made out of solid brass. Usually microphones, especially in this price range, are made out of aluminum or some other material that's not brass. And there's not one bit of plastic on this microphone. But does this mean anything for the sound? Well, I'm gonna compare my Rode NTG2 microphone, which is actually my go-to microphone for all of my productions, and I wanna see if this thing can stack up to it. So let's compare the two. But first, let's talk about what's in the box. The microphone comes with a shockproof and watertight case. As we open it up, everything is very well protected with foam on the upper portion and lower portion of the case. We have the microphone, wind muff, and we also have a microphone holder. This can be attached to a microphone stand or a boom pole. So if you do plan on hand holding this microphone or even putting it on a boom pole, I do recommend getting a shock mount like this one here. This is a shock mount from Roycott and I'll leave a link for it in the description box below, but basically any shotgun microphone can fit in this shock mount. And what it does is it eliminates a lot of those vibration sounds that you would usually hear from a boom pole. So as you can see here, when I'm moving up and down, the microphone is actually not picking up a lot of those vibration noises because of the shock mount. It's absorbing all of that. So very useful tool. Again, I'm gonna leave a link for it in the description box below. So back to the mic. Take a closer look at this microphone. Look at the design. There is some weight to it, which makes it feel high quality. That brass really starts to shine in that area. Now, since I am a trombone player, I deal with a lot of brass. <laughs> well, my trombone's made out of brass. So why do they use this metal in a microphone? Well, brass has a natural tendency of warming up sound. So it will be very interesting to see how this stacks up against the Rode NTG2. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna test out the noise performance, the range performance, and overall audio performance of this microphone. So I'm gonna go ahead and rig it up on a stand and compare it to the Rode NTG2. Now that I've had a quick wardrobe change, I'm ready to test out both of these microphones. On the left, I have the Rode NTG2, and on the right, I have the Deity S Mic 2. We're gonna start off with a noise test. I'm gonna be dead silent, and then we're gonna test out how high the decibels can go, and we're gonna see which microphone produces more noise. Here we go, ready in three, two, one, All right, so that's the noise test. Now we're gonna go and do a range test. So I'm gonna move five feet away and then 10 feet away from the microphones and we're gonna see which microphone sounds better. All right, let's start off with five feet. So now I'm about five feet away from the microphones. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below of which mic actually picks up better range. So five feet away, I'm just rambling right now, get used to each microphone and let me know which one sounds better. Now I'm gonna go ahead and step 10 feet back. Now I'm 10 feet away from the microphones. Which mic has better range? Is it the Rode NTG2 or is it the Deity S Mic 2? Again, let me know what you think in the comments section below. And if you're wondering, yes, I am still speaking at the same volume. So hopefully by now you got a clear sample of both the Rode NTG2 and the DDS Mic 2. If you want to know my opinion, I'm going to give it to you. 
The Rode NTG2 has better overall noise performance, especially at the higher decibel levels. You can see that the NTG2 picks up much less noise compared to the Deity S Mic 2. When it comes down to overall audio clarity and the quality of the sound, I do like the sound of the S Mic 2 more. It has that solid brass body, so it's going to produce that warmer sound. I myself am a trombone player and it's made out of brass and it produces very warm sound. So I know that brass has that effect on the S mic too and it can be clearly heard in the sample footage or sample audio that you just heard. When it comes down to range, the S mic 2 wins again. There is a clear difference in the S mic 2 and the Rode NTG2 on the range, especially at 10 feet, you can definitely hear a difference between the S Mic 2 and the Rode NTG2. Now, I also noticed something else. On my recorder here, the Zoom H6, the NTG2 is set at a higher level compared to the S Mic 2. I tried to get the levels just about the same, but I noticed that uh, the S Mic 2 sucks up less power, which is a good thing. Also, the S Mic 2 does not have phantom power options like the Rode NTG2, so you need to have an external phantom power source like the Zoom H6 recorder. You can't simply power this thing off itself. It needs extra power, so keep that in mind. Overall, I'm gonna continue using my Rode NTG2 for my standard YouTube videos, but if I ever wanna do a voiceover or record a live band or live performance, I'm gonna go ahead and bring out the DDS Mic 2. If you wanna check out the DDS Mic 2 and pick it up for yourself, go ahead and check it out in the link in the description box below. I do recommend that you have two different microphones, at least two different shotguns. Each microphone produces a different kind of sound, so it's great to have options for your shoots. That's why I have the Rode NTG2 and the DDS Mic 2. So pick up a few and you'll see the difference yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel with notifications on. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.